And if you have an email newsletter that you send every two weeks, you're doing email marketing. Go use hey. Woo! Right? What what I actually encourage is a more regular thing. Um, so what I send is every Tuesday, I send out an email that goes to a blog post that I've written. And every Thursday, I send out an email that just goes, it's information that just goes to my list. So sometimes it's insights on what I'm doing. Sometimes it's stories. Um you know, related to my life or, you know, the news or all sorts of things. And honestly, the thing that I hear the most often from business owners like yourself is I have no idea what to write, right? That's the biggest problem is you're, you sit there staring at the white screen of death as one of my students calls it. And you're just, you're stuck. And that's a serious problem. So I actually have a system that I teach all of my students, which is um, the seven email types. And these are just basically different formulas that you can use to come up with ideas to write about. And then I have a fairly standard, you know, I'm not going to call it a template, more of a, right. a, a structure yeah. that you can use to write a simple email. These do, these do not have to be treatises. You know, I've written emails that are 150 words. I've written emails that are 750 words. It really depends on what you're trying to convey, whether there's something you're sending people to, like a blog post. Obviously, I don't want to tell people what's in the blog post. I want them to go read the blog post. Blog post. Right. Saying so you want people to go listen to your podcast. Yeah. So, but the point is that you're making that regular um, contact. Literally, you're reminding people of your existence.